world's fastest bumper car update. Welcome back to Bump 200. More development for the bumper car. Yeah, another steering axle. And a rather cute little steering wheel, actually, I have to say. Yeah. Don't think we'll be using that because we're going to probably go with handlebars. But um, I rather like that for the race car. So much the same setup as before. Uh, rack and pinion job here. Uh, tie rod ends here. Uh, that's the steering wheel. Uh, that actually goes to to the steering implement. Whether that be the steering wheel or uh, something completely different. And some bearings. Nice. So the question is, is it short enough? And the short answer is, uh, maybe, maybe, at a pinch, maybe it'll work. Wait, what have we here? Well, we've got some mess for our side holes and our grills there. Yeah, lovely. Other good news on the bumper car front. News from across the pond. The Guinness World Records. Yes, uh, they have clarified um, basically their error. And um, yeah, as long as we stick within the same lines as Mr. Furs, we're okay. Good. And uh, more crazy ideas from across the pond too. Yes, I was talking to my friend Mr. T. No, 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 not, not that Mr. T. Subject to tyres. And I see how he made the connection um, in terms of lunatics and small wheels and things like that. And he suggested a sidecar wheel. Mm, yeah. Good idea, Mr. T. Uh, just a little bit large, actually. Much larger than you'd imagine. So we're stuck with go-kart wheels. Well, right now we're stuck with no wheels at all. Because we haven't bought any yet. Anyway, now we have some parameters to uh, work within. I guess we should work thereon. I say, man, get on with it. Anyway, back to the, uh, the engine idea, the motor. Um, and this is the R6, uncovered, because um, I'm wondering what to do. Um, so yeah, there you go. Obviously it's not finished, but it's bloody close. And uh, you can see why it kind of sprang to mind. Uh, not least of all, because it's got a 600cc motor, just like Mr. Furs put in his. Um, the difference is this is, uh, this is the 2006 which, if you remember, has 135 horsepower. That's more than a Tesla motor. Yeah, that's pretty impressive out of a 600cc motor. Well done, Yamaha, as per normal. Anyway, um, it would be a shame to, like, you know, completely trash it. There's a lot of work gone into this. Uh, nevertheless, as somebody pointed out, there's no reason I can't take the motor out and then put it back in again afterwards. It's possible, I suppose. So yeah, uh, I think the first thing we need to do is measure the bloody thing, make sure it'll actually fit. Um, so let's start with that, right? Right, there you have it. Um, very rough at this point in time. I need to uh, transpose this onto my side drawing of the car. Uh, but yeah, 18 inches kind of that way. 20 inches top to bottom that doesn't make sense because this should be longer but i guess there's bits that poke out and uh, including the gearbox transmission um 14 inches across well, that looks as though it could work uh, bearing in mind we've got to put some wheels and this is all going to sit a little bit higher uh, we've got 18 inches of bodywork and then four inches of bumper so that takes us to 22 and then uh, yeah all right so we've probably got enough room at that point so that'll be the highest point in the motor, right there. 14 inches takes us to here, which doesn't leave us a lot of room for wheels, um, because we we looked at putting them around the 10 inch, 12 inch mark. So, I don't know. Um, oh, width, I suppose, yes, width. Well, width is actually about 14 inches, so, um, we might have room for wheels by the side of it, but then of course we've got the whole steering rack thing. Uh, okay. That's amazingly slim. But it's it? true. Yeah, because the tape measures three inches, so. Yeah. 
uh, the, you know, display that my thumb's on. So it could work. I'll be sad not to finish it. Perhaps I should just finish it visually at least. It's pretty cool, really. Yeah. It's kind of funky. A lot of effort went into this. Well, using my measurements and a, uh, a very nice picture of a R6 Yamaha engine that I found on Turbo Squid, um, yeah, it, it looks like it'll fit, right? And um, even, if we look at it from the top, even possibly uh, the wheels. So that's exciting. I think that's enough excitement for one week. So thanks for tuning in again, as usual, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That would mean an awful lot to me. Do tune and, in next time because we've got some important developments in, uh, in the balance. In the balance. In the pipeline. That's what I was looking for. Yes. No, not, not more air ducting. No. Um, actually, they're in a van. That isn't intriguing enough to make you want to subscribe. I don't know what it is. And then, um, of course, encourage others to watch my lunacy.